what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day i am winning and so are you so check it out today we are going to be talking about ethereum huge news what if there was no more ethereum what if there was none to buy what would happen to the price would it shoot up to two thousand dollars five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars where is ethereum going when there's no more ethereum left well let's find out So Samuel Haig says, exchange is running out of ETH with reserves plunging 27% in 48 hours. So we're talking less than two weeks from now, zero Ethereum left to buy. What is that going to do to the price? Analytics predict Ether may soon hit a new all-time high after ETH reserves on centralized exchanges fell by 27% in two days. The amount of Ether held on exchanges has plunged over the past two days with CryptoQuant data indicating that just 8.1 million Ether is currently sitting in the reserves or centralized exchanges. The acceleration of ETH being taken off exchanges was highlighted by Nuggets News' Alex Saunders who noted a 10% drop in Ether reserves on centralized platforms on January 14th, the day. One day, 10% drop from 11 million to 10 million in over 24 hours. Exchanges will run out of ETH in 10 days at this current rate, he predicted. Earlier today, Saunders noted the decline in Ether reserves had escalated by a further 20%, leading him to suggest that centralized platforms may run out of Ether in the next 48 hours says here exchanges could be out of ether within 48 hours demand has skyrocketed exchange reserves fell 20 percent from 10 million to 8 million in the last few hours with targets of 5,000 10,000 and 20,000 dollars long term I doubt many holders will sell their ETH in the one to two thousand dollar range so let's say you're holding some ether right now that is huge news and that means that it's gonna be hard to come by, right? And we've talked about that in previous videos. Why is Bitcoin so extremely valuable and popular? Because of the scarcity. We know that there's only gonna be a certain amount. There's the same thing with Ether. There's only a certain amount of coins. So once this hits the mainstream, if you're watching this video, you know ahead of time. Now this is obviously not financial advice and I'm not telling you to do anything here. All I'm doing is giving you analysis on what could potentially go with Ethereum. And we're gonna look at the charts here in just a minute. So stick with me through the video. But it says here, other data also shows that exchange balances have fallen by 42% since tagging an all time high of $14.1 million or million in mid-May 2020. Data from Glassnode indicates that Ether reserves on centralized exchanges have not been this low since July of 2018. As of this writing, only 7% of Ether's circulating supply is held in exchanges. Saunders inter interprets the data as suggesting an explosive bull run into new all-time highs is imminent for Ether, stating, We all know what happened when demand outstripped supply of BTC. It quadrupled in 90 days. CryptoQuant data shows that exchanges, BTC reserves have fallen by 21% since posting an all-time high of nearly 3 million during March of 2020. However, the recent acceleration in Ether being taken off exchanges far outpaces that of BTC. Exchanges, BTC reserves only fell by 4.5% since October 21st, while Bitcoin's price increased 230 from roughly 12,000 to 40,000. According to crypto market data aggregator Into the Block, Ether is currently exhibiting numerous bullish signals, including a bid to ask volume imbalance of almost 9%. So what's really great about that, right? So just think logically here. You have this coin and let's say that there's a million of them, but you can only get a potential, there's only 10 
let's just say there's only 10 left to buy out of a million and you have all these people scrambling to buy that well that's when the price starts to go up right because if there's only 10 but there's hundreds of people that want it people can start asking whatever they want and as you can see right here people are already asking a nine percent higher premium for the price so you know what i'm saying like if 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 an ethereum costs 1237 which it does right now in reality that's nine percent higher than what the actual fair market value should be for the coin essentially all right so let's take a look at the markets now and see what's going on over here so right here we got the ethereum uh charts that we've been marking up over the past couple of videos if you guys have been with me this is the two hour chart so that means that every one of these candles is two hours green meaning going up for buy red meaning going down for sell and we had some of these key levels marked off because this is where they were hitting as a resistance and then they became a uh, support, right? Resistance and then also a support. Well, right now we are obviously hitting a resistance line up here at the 12,032 and 90-ish range. That's where it keeps on bumping into the ceiling there and we need to break through that glass ceiling, right? So what happened is it came up this channel and we had already said that that channel is typically a bullish signal, right? A bullish pattern for uh, trading it did take a dip it actually did a pretty ni nice dip there in fact if we take a look with our measuring tool we can go from here when the dip started all the way down to the bottom of that candle the dip there and we'll carry it over so we can see the percentage so boom right there that was a 17.78 percent dip which you can see right there 17 percent correction right after that channel which that was a bearish correction since then it has obviously went back up into this little channel that it started tra trading inside this triangle and the triangle is typically a bullish pattern and we did get some bullish reaction there so let's take our uh, measurement here and see what our bullish reaction was to this if we go up to the top of that candle that was a 10 percent run so if you were in a trade at that point you were in it for a really good uh, profit there, 10%. Then what happened is you'll notice that uh, what I like to do is drop down to the one hour charts for this part of it. But when these EMAs cross, right? So the yellow one is what we call mustard, red is ketchup. When the mustard crosses over the ketchup and stays below it, like right here, we knew this was starting to be a downtrend. And I've had a couple of my friends, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I watched your video. I noticed that downtrend when you called it and that thing came all the way down here, right? Now you may not hit the exact peak or the exact valley, but check it out. If you would have sold your Ethereum here and then it dropped down to here and maybe you were smart enough to get out of it, who knows, probably not. Most people don't see that as the all time bottom, but when you see all of these wicks accumulating on the one hour, that means that people it's, it's not wanting to go any further down. So at that point you can then buy again, right? Or you can wait until the mustard crosses over the ketchup and then it's a buy signal. And then it was kind of consolidating here, came down a little and now it's back on the bullish move. And again, it came through another one of these triangles here. So right now, more things are going well for Ethereum than going bad. So if we were to take a long-term look here on the actual market, we, take our trend line here from the bottom up here boom all right so now that's our uptrend and you can see that obviously it had this crazy uptrend and then it came back down to realization and then it had another up and then it's kind of sticking here so this is up here and that doesn't mean that it's gonna take a rocket ship move or a parabolic move like they call it what this may do is just come back down tap the line and then keep on working its way up nice and slowly we'll have to see how that plays out over time um, we can even go to the daily chart here and if we look at the daily chart it's just absolutely absurd the daily chart was a straight parabolic move and there was no real trend obviously the trend line is here but you can see it just went up and then it went bam that back down and what's crazy the, this is daily so you, you had one two three four five six days in a row it ran up had this little correction we talked about and then it had this massive upswing now also we were talking about this channel here let's drop back down to the one hour because this 
also may be a good indicator of where we are going, all right? So what you'll notice too, this little bar here, this bar was if you drew this line from here to here, and you take this bar, you put it in the front, and then you can see where it pretty much dropped to. So with this one being in this channel here, let's draw the channel out equally. And then we'll do a back of the triangle. Let's draw a trend line from here to here. And we'll move this. And so it's getting pretty close actually to where that prediction is. So with just that triangle, the end of that triangle puts us at right at $13,000. Now, that's with just looking at the charts and this analysis. Also take into fundamental analysis. We are running out of Ethereum. That means there is hype behind Ethereum. That means people are fired up about Ethereum. So can we expect this to continue up? We will see. Right now on the one hour chart, the mustard is above the catch up, meaning it is still an uptrend and it is doing really well. Also down here, this is the TDI. Let's take a look at this. The yellow is what they call the, basically the market average. That's the market average where the price should be. And this is where we are seeing our current price action, which is here. So it's coming potentially down a little bit more. Maybe it's gonna do a little bit of a correction um, however, it's bouncing off of the yellow line here in the middle. So we'll see what happens. Just watch that there. Um, there is no clear breakout waiting to happen. It is just on a run right now. It's on a bull run. We do know that it could potentially go up to 12,097. Um, if you're in a trade, I always recommend taking profits prior to that because sometimes it'll take a little turn down before you get there. So, you know, if you're in a trade, maybe 1275 or something like that, get out of your trade. And uh, that would have been a really, really nice move there. So I hope this was great for you. We're running out of Ethereum. If you're holding it, hold it because it's definitely worth having. doesn't mean that Ethereum is gone, gone because there is mining going on. It's just all of the stuff that is available. So the exchanges are kind of, they're not, but the, the analogy I like to use, they're like a bank they hold money right so if you go to bank of america here they're holding fiat currency money you can go withdraw it and stuff like that that's what these exchanges are you can go and withdraw ethereum you can go and you could buy ethereum trade your fiat or other cryptos for ethereum well there is none left in the bank the banks are out only the people own the ethereum at this point most of the ethereum is owned by the people now are those people going to be willing to sell some of it Time is only here to uh, tell. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Hope you guys are enjoying your Ethereum. Talk to you guys later.